Well, this is fun. You're here, and I'm here, and the Nug Club box is here. The September Nug Club box, to be specific. Um, I'll throw some information on the screen, but it's a monthly subscription I get. It has seven or more items in it, and I've got a referral code. If you want one, you can use the referral code, and it'll save you some money on that. So let's let's um let's see what's in here. Sort of return to the normal Nug Club box pattern. Haven't had a themed box in a minute, but there we are. Branding cards, got a bunch of them. And looks like there'll be some drinks and some edibles and of course some vapes. So let's get into it. Now, right away, another really like fun color palette box. Got a lot of like whites and sort of like creamy colors. Um, and, and also these like very rainbow bright, sort of magenta stuff. I like it. Um, looks like a lot of new things, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just hop into it. And I always like to I like to grab the largest object first. So this is this is heavy. This weighs much more than I thought it was gonna thought it was gonna weigh. Now, this is from pantry and it's cannabis infused. That's that's all we know from the the packaging so far. Uh, peach jellies, cannabis infused peach jellies, hundred milligrams of THC, five per serving, you know, twenty gummies, and manufactured in March. Yeah, okay, okay. So nothing too crazy here. They got a, a really cute like stripey thing going on there with these little cutouts which appear to be um in the same general shape as their logo which is this like golden grain in a cannabis leaf shape i don't know let's uh let's see what's inside here i have a sneaking suspicion it will be a glass The worst sticker. This is the worst sticker I've ever had to had to deal with. But, but we're here. Okay. All right. So, yeah, yeah. So we see their logo again, and again on the container find out that they're a uh, cannabis-infused food brand created by award-winning chefs Frank Castronovo and Frank Falcinelli. Falcinelli? Hmm. Two Franks. Oh, they own Frank's Patino, the restaurant group. All right, cool. So, got some chef bona fides. And look at this. Is it? It's, it's not glass. It's something even, even denser. It's like ceramic, fascinating. Um, but in this really cool creamy white, um, and like I said, it's, it's, it's hefty. Um, child safe container. Ooh. Talk about filled to the brim. Let me take a look at that. We've got peach jellies um, and they look handmade because they're not very regular in shape and ooh, ooh, they're stuck together pretty bad. All right, so marks against pantry for their packaging method here, but for a free one, you can see they're covered in some, we've seen this before, like sugar crystals, maybe like, maybe it'll be tangy. Gross. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, let's give one of these a try. That's a really mealy, squishy texture, and it's got a very upfront cannabis oil kind of flavor to it. It's a very natural peach flavor, not like super like a like a peach gummy snack kind of thing, but that doesn't it doesn't particularly mask the um the canvas flavor and they're not they don't gel together the nicest if you don't like traditional gummies this texture might appeal to you but um and maybe it took some weathering in the in the in the journey over here so uh won't hold it against it too much but yeah interesting texture not very strong five milligrams uh but strong taste so that's kind of an interesting thing like there clearly isn't that much cannabis oil in there and yet it's kind of the overwhelming aftertaste that i've got so really like this heavy duty um container and uh, not so sure about the actual product um, like I said, peach flavor, gummy snacks, and weird texture. Uh, let's, 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 let's do this. For now. Okay. All right. It's a start. Uh, what's next? Well, it's on top. So let's, let's take a look at this. So this, this, this is, uh, Tsunami by Splash or Splash by Tsunami. I would say Splash is the brand. Um, it's a cannabis infused drink additive and it's fast acting and full spectrum. Two vials per bag. 100 milligrams THC total, so that makes, oh yeah, it says here in the corner, 50 milligrams per vial. <laughs> oh, my, my favorite new catchphrase, THC plus nanotech equals faster onset. So, nano is the hot buzzword in the cannabis industry right now. Splash tells us to drink differently. Uh, feel the effects in 10 to 15 minutes. Vegetable glycerin, lectin, triglycerides, cannabis extract. So not not a lot. Unco is tsunami's the flavor? I guess we're gonna go tsunami as the flavor. Um, and not not a word as to whether it's like indica, sativa. It's full spectrum. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Nice tear across, love it. It's made of a uh, foil. It's good, it's good. And we've got a fun like child safe thing here where there's sort of like a, a tab inside of a tab. You gotta grab. And you can hear in there, vials, like they said, so. What, what are these? Wow, um, splash. Oh, it's a liquid. It's a liquid in this, in this vial. Yeah. Um, and so that's our 50 milligrams nano infused liquid. Oh, and there's measuring on the side. So they've got it, they've got it uh, measured up in, in 10 milligram doses for you. So, did they say this, is this a, is it a mix? Drink additive, it's an additive. Okay, so no promises on flavor. Um, Camps infused drink additive. I guess, you know what, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta taste this, right? Um, um, a little tiny, it might be gross, but. 
you know. Name of adventure. You think you think shake this? We're gonna go shake this. It says water soluble on like three different places on this packaging, and like I would hope so, because there's a liquid in there. That would be really horrifying if, if it wasn't. If, if it was like like an oil in there. Okay, so this cute little vial itself isn't um, any particular child safe. And the uh, fluid inside is like a, a milky kind of kind of color. Um, yeah, well, bottoms up. Wow. Yeah, that's um. Yeah, mix that with something. I would say, like. I was going to give you some advice <laughs> from a person <laughs> that just put this in his mouth. I'd say don't. Um, chalky, somehow, while also being a little tangy and a little bitter with a really strong cannabis overtone. Um, it's it's like if you poured like a lemonade mix into your mouth, like like that level of just sort of super sweet, but dry at the same time yeah um not overwhelmingly strong i bet this would mix nicely um so yeah what if i gotta refrigerate this doesn't say i have to but probably won't take any chances um this is pretty cool it's not gonna take up a lot of room in the fridge which you know that's always fun uh, not having to to store like the full-size can or anything you just mix this with whatever you want and maybe with something carbonated and then uh, then be like nano infused carbonation. I don't know if that's multiplicative or additive in terms of how fast it'll speed things up, but um, I guess we're gonna find out over the course of this video how fast this is. But this was Splash Tsunami uh, drink vials and definitely an additive, definitely wouldn't do this as a shot, and definitely be careful because it's 50 milligrams in each one of these, even though they're pretty small. Um, I've seen I've seen things, larger containers, you know, full cans with like five to 10 in them. So um, know what you're getting into. Uh, yeah, otherwise a very cool idea. Uh, definitely the first liquid drink mix cannabis product I've ever seen. And a uh, really cute presentation. These, uh, you know, little vials. There we go. There we go. Freestanding. Okay. All right. What remains? Well, this immediately catches my eye. I'm going to go with cone. Maybe, but that's a delta, so I'm not sure. Codin? Codin? <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's got this sort of like classical Greek thing going on, very much um, in like an orange, like those pots in the opening of the Hercules Disney movie. <laughs> Zero to Hero song. Um, okay, what is this? Three cannabis infused single dose cordials. Interesting. The flavor is play, which I guess is why we've got these frolicking ladies on there. And this is cruelty free, plant derived, gluten free, recyclable, California grown cannabis. And I've got 9.7 grams of THC per milligrams, I mean, per serving, and 30 milligrams to three servings. Yep, okay, yep. High THC, low CBD. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm about to see, but uh, we've seen this kind of packaging before. It's got these um, tabs on there, and it's kind of heavy duty cardboard. And it looks like Play is 
six out of seven dots on their little dot scale here, or I'm really misinterpreting this graphic. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna see. Okay, all right. The active ingredient is you, which is trademarked. Wouldn't want anyone to steal that. Hungry for cannabis? <laughs> Dance, play, revel. Patent from Sun Growing Packaging. Okay, okay. And oh, look at how cute those are. They're, they're in this little house and it like flips open. There's instructions on here. Uh, sip directly from bottle or mix. Okay, all right, so we got options this time. Felt in approximately 15 minutes, could last up to four hours. Swirl the liquid around in your mouth for 30 seconds to enjoy the effects more quickly. Lift tab, peel straight down in one smooth motion toward the neck of the bottle until the cap is free. Uh, is, is it gonna take that? Um, all right, I guess we'll see. Okay, so got my instructions here. Got a little info card as well. Oh, it is, it's THC level. Six out of seven THC levels on the dots. Energetics, has a little sun logo. And yeah, I got some, some terpenes, some alpha pinene, some limonene, some linalool. I don't know, I don't know what any of that means, but I'm happy they included it. And this kind of is a little pull tab that's gonna let me get these guys out. And so there we go. How how cute is that? So just leave him there. Okay. Awesome. So look at this. It's a little maybe colored glass container. Yeah. 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 Oh, and it's got it's got what appears to be like a pull tab on top. So that explains why they needed to tell me I'm allowed to pull that off. And you can see once again six out of seven dots and here's our bacchanalian naked ladies in the uh burnt orange uh again didn't tell me if i have to shake it but i assume we have to right so this flips up and i'm gonna pull this back to me and as promised little cap tears off and again, we've got a kind of milky white fluid. Um, we'll see how the swirling goes. But I, I love this container. It's got a really cute little fat mouth on it. Um, this one definitely designed for you to drink, drink out of, but no, uh, no dosing instructions. So you're just kind of either winging it or taking the full 10. So away we go. That was vastly more pleasant than the drink additive by Splash. Um, I'm not gonna say creamy, but like chalky in a pleasant way. Again, um, just the barest bit of tanginess and a little floral actually, but very mild. Overall, extremely mild. Um, and not as much liquid as I would have thought. This is a surprisingly thick walled little, little container. So there were three of those in this for a total of 30 milligrams of THC, three times 10 milligram doses. And this was made in Santa Rosa, California. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this company name again. K-O Delta N. <laughs> Uh, and using this nice recycling packaging. So fun. Um, I've tried, I've tried some prepackaged drinks before, but these drink additives are new by me. It makes sense. Save on like shipping costs, um, save on volume, save on calories. If that's the thing you're worried about or sugar. Yeah. Really fun. So let's live dangerously like that. 
and what remains. It looks like that's the end of the edibles. Okay, so two drinks, one gummy, not as many different edibles as I've gotten in the past, but definitely some things I never would have picked up on my own. Um, liquid drink mix is a fascinating idea. Having these little one-off shots is really slick and they're in really cute containers. Pantry, I'm going to have to give another try because I don't know if that's a shipping problem or just a recipe problem. They had some weird texture on them. But let's, um, let's get into what remains. We've got what looks like three vapes, um, and one of them comes with a little battery, uh, a Go battery by Select. So Select's a pretty big vape company. They've been around a long time. Um, this is tiny. This is really small. I'm, whatever's in here is... Designed these with the Select Go cartridge. Okay, so I don't know. This might be a a special a, a pod system then, or similar. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that guy's that guy's really really tiny. Like if you, I mean, like <sighs> shorter than a a jewel, and considerably narrower than like these kind of fat 510 thread batteries you normally get so probably doesn't have the most juice but very portable very slick um just has select in their their little logo there nothing else on there and no buttons um i'm assuming yeah okay it's got a little little usb charger oh that's cute um it actually sits vertically on the charger check that out so this is nice when you've got it plugged into like a laptop or something, you're not creating like, you know, an, an extra several inches of, of clearance needed against the wall or anything. So uh, I kind of like this design a little more than some of the other screw in chargers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fun. So this is a go battery and we'll, we'll leave the battery part of it out because Probably goes with this Go cartridge. Yeah. So again, this is Select. The flavor is Rainbow Sherbet coming in at 87.3% total cannabinoids. Only 82% THC. And they almost got me there. I was like, TC. What could TC stand for? Um, so this is a, your typical oil vape cartridge. And the back says fresh, period. Bursting with fresh fruit flavor, bold fruit strains, pair it with a sleek go battery. There's a, there's a lot of discrete portability. We got some buzzwords here. Um, do not over tighten, three second draw. Okay, yeah, let's, let's take a look at it. Now this is only 0.3 grams, so it's not as big as your normal like 510 thread cartridge. Those are like usually half a gram, a little smaller. From the sound of it, there's gonna be a little vial in there and there is there is there is so wow that's really small and, and cute it's got a little rubber stopper on the end besides that completely blacked out and so even combined with this battery, this is very small. This is like two thirds the size of your standard like ballpoint pen. So this is a slick little device. Um, doesn't look like there's any buttons on the cartridge either. So probably just to just inhale off of it. Let's see if it came with enough charge to show something. Yeah, and the end lights up, not much, because the cap is blacked out, but it did look like there's a light in there. Pretty good draw off of it. Really fruit forward, actually. Um, and finishes like very bitter and planty, like kind of you expect from a lot of these full spectrum oils. But in the smell and kind of the first encounter on my mouth, yeah, fruity, fruity does kind of go with it, so. Um, we've seen some different pod systems. Currently, my favorite one might still be the Uno from Chemistry, top notch. But 
Uh, haven't tried this before and pretty happy with it so far. This is Select and it's their Go battery and Go cartridges. Uh, I don't know what the pricing on them is at only 0.3 grams. You'd hope they'd be cheaper. Um, I don't know, buyer beware, but I got this one. It's part of a package deal, so I'm pretty happy. Try it out, see how it goes. And always have to get a rechargeable instead of just a disposable, you know, a little better for the environment. Okay, what remains? Alpine, premium candle, cannabis oil, sativa, vape cartridge, distilled to perfection. Alpine's catchphrase is an elevated experience. So what is this? This is a sativa, this is tangy, tangy, whichever way you wanna read that. User manual, that's excessive. Doesn't look like anything we haven't heard before. A little plastic vial and if I'm not mistaken, this is a full gram cartridge. So this is a little small for cartridge. This is twice the size of a normal cartridge. Um, a kind of a like like piney flavor right off the bat and like a like a, a really pineapple yellow like rich color not brown not amber at all um you could you could you could argue with me that like green like a chartreuse kind of thing is going on there um light in color is the point uh and a little safety caps on there go back in this child safe container and let's give this guy a try. Um, unique blends of expertly distilled oil and natural terpenes. Eighty five percent THC. So again, on the strong side. Very dry and mild, definitely citrusy, definitely green plant material. Um, not a heavy kind of experience at all. I kind of like it. It's very mild, very mild. So that was, that was Tangy by Alpine. in a full gram. And last but not least, Eureka vape cartridge, blackberry kush flavor in this cute little container. Um, looks like push and hold. There's some little pinch tabs on the side there and push on the bottom, but there's a sticker too. Oh my. All right, warning sticker removed. Push and hold the sides, press the bottom. Okay, okay, it's a little tray. It's a little tray that slides up, slides up. And again, that's another one gram cartridge. Wow, okay. So, in a pretty standard black tip metal cartridge, we've got Blackberry Kush from Eureka, which comes in at 97% THC. That's crazy strong. Um, oh no, that's total cannabinoids. Only 91% THC, which is just very strong. Um, but still, a full gram of this, so I've got as much vape stuff as I've really ever gotten. That's like 2.3 grams so far of vape products. So a vape heavy box, uh, these are gonna last me a long time, whereas these are the, the edibles, more sampley type things. It's gonna be fun to give them a try. Um, let's see about this Blackberry Kush.
blackberry notes come through really strongly. Another really light one, not as floral or as dry as the last one. Um, please, that yeah, produced a good amount of vapor, but not, um, not a heavy amount. Didn't like irritate my nose too much. Very, very smooth, especially given how strong it was. You know, you kind of get worried when something is like notably stronger than everything else that it's going to be a little lower quality or a little less smooth, a little more harsh. Not the case. So yeah, that's my, my third and final vape cartridge from Eureka, a full gram. Blackberry Kush, which is an indica. Uh, so there we go. Three vapes. One is kind of in this fun modular system that I didn't have before. And three edibles. Two of them are drinks. Really fun. Um, yeah. Thanks for coming along. This was, this was a fascinating journey. If you want to get your own box, I've got a code I'll throw on the screen. It'll save you some money. And if you want to just keep consuming content of me opening things, well, stay strapped in because I got add-ons this month. So what did I get? Well, first off, can of infused chile limon can of corn from Hire. This is great. It's crunchy. It's spicy. It gets all over your hands. Um, and it works really well. So I love this so much. I wanted to try it again. Um, yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. I can link to another video where I actually try them. Very crunchy. That's the main thing. There's not a lot of crunchy, savory sort of things in the cannabis edibles world. This one's got that. What next? My favorite seltzer of all time. Um, since this, I guess, is a drink themed box this time. Here's Pabst Blue Ribbon, but this is their high seltzer. It's got 10 milligrams THC instead of five, uh, which their normal THC seltzer does. Um, this is a four pack I got as an add-on through Nug Club. I really recommend this. It's not an exciting flavor. It's, it's lemon, but that's, that's all it tastes like. There's no weird aftertaste, um, nothing gross, and uh, it's, it's your standard seltzer, so can't recommend this one enough. And lastly, two products from a company I really like. Sonder. First up, vape cartridge. This is their biscotti flavor. They're kind of color-coded. Uh, this one's the lilac, purpley one. Uh, and absolute favorite. It's it's exactly what it says in the box. It's relaxed, happy, euphoric. I don't know what they do that makes their vape products so consistent compared to other companies, but I love everything they've done every time. So yeah, Sonder Vape Cartridges in Biscotti. And their Space Crystals, which are Pop Rocks. Edible Pop Rocks. Well, <laughs> cannabis infused pop rocks is what I mean, not edible. All pop rocks are edible. In Cheers Queers flavor. <laughs> um, I was curious what that meant and I haven't gotten any more answers on acquiring it, but very excited to try these out. Um, I tried some of the other flavors of peach already. Um, they're really good, really crackly, uh, not too sweet. Uh, yeah, so if you have a chance to get anything from Sonder of any kind, edible, vape, I, I recommend it. I love those guys. And thanks so much for coming along on this unboxing. Yay! <laughs> Cheers, Clears! <laughs>